Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. Mega Trainer inside the Pizza Pizza Party Zone. How are you? The Pizza Party Zone. Where's the pizza? That's awesome. Where is the pizza? That would have been a great idea. Oh my gosh. All right, guarantee you know our massive uh, hit song all about that bass, a song that's so catchy you can't get it out of your head. The video is over 100 million views. She was uh, just presented with a plaque for double platinum sales in Canada. We'll be triple platinum anytime soon. Released at the end of June and went straight to number one on iTunes, number one in Canada for six weeks. Really the biggest song in the world right now. Please welcome the beautiful and talented Mega Trainer to Z1035. Oh. Yay! Wow, what an intro. Yeah, it was all right. I figured Dang. I'd put that together for you. So uh, what do you think of Toronto other than the rain? I love it. First it's time great. or? Um, yeah, first time in Canada. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh huh. Did you do anything? Did you go to the CN Tower or anything? No. No? I was, what's tripping me out is that my beat's still playing. I'm like trying not to oh, dance, okay. but I'm like, that, oh, every, wow. Okay, there, how's that? Sorry, that was that, a little better. We'll, we'll, yeah. lower, we'll lower it a little yeah. bit. <laughs> yeah, you definitely keep it. Yeah, it's great. All right. No, Canada's amazing. It's beautiful, and everyone's just like stupid nice here. Yeah, stupid like, nice. ridiculously nice. <laughs> That's what everyone says about Canadians, though. Like something's going on. When you travel around the world, like Canadians are so nice. They open the door for me and say sorry when they bump into you. And Yeah, I, I guess that's what I'll marry. Right. For sure. Yeah, there Canadian. you go. Maybe Got you can it. Meet a Canadian guy. I need a sweet guy. That's what I'm looking for. Take him back with you. Um, yeah. So at the age of 20, uh, hey. it, it really happened pretty quickly for you. Yes, overnight. Like, yeah. Kind of scary. Explain a little it's bit. It's awesome. Um, all about that base. It has a great message about uh, loving who you are, no matter what size or shape you are. A self empowerment anthem, really. Um, how do you explain the song? Would you explain the song like that, or a little bit different? Yeah, you nailed it. Oh my really? gosh. It's Dead about on? loving your body. It's about being comfortable in your own skin. Right. Yeah, did, did you think it would ha- love them. When we talk about it happening so quick, did you think it would ever happen so quick or even happen at all for you? Not at all. I had no, no idea. My dad looked at me last year at New Year's and was like, I don't know. I think this is your year. And now I'm calling him up like, yo, man, what would you know? How'd you, what? <laughs> what? What the crap? Yeah, this has been the best year of my life. Right. Probably forever. And it's, it's all a dream. So you've been writing forever and then all of a sudden you decide to write yeah. something about your yeah. body. And I really. didn't even have like cuts. I think I had a Roscoe Flats cuts. And, right. But he was like, this, this is going to be your year. year. Uh huh. And, and now it's my face on the plaque. It's so cool. It's crazy. It's crazy. And L.A. Reid, I guess, heard the song before it was released and yeah. you didn't have an album or anything together now, and just decided to release LA it. L.A. Reid's a friend. Isn't that insane? Oh, he's your, he's your buddy now. Yeah. I was texting him last night. Really? About a song. Yeah. Man, I should put something together. Then you can give me his contact and I'll hit him up. Say, what yeah. do you think there, Reid? It took a while to get his phone number, but then I got it. Uh-huh. I got the email right away, but I was like, can, can I text you? <laughs> Can I please have your digits? <laughs> right. Awesome. Now, you wish there was a song like this growing up, you mentioned. Yeah. Were you insecure, insecure about yourself growing up? For sure. Yeah? Like, just until a few weeks ago. I was, <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still like working yeah. on the self-acceptance thing. I love myself way more now. I think uh-huh. I'm banging now. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. Like, how am I single? It's crazy. Uh-huh. But um, no, my whole life, yeah, I struggled with that. And I wish I had something like that at 13. That would have been so solid for me. Just like... One of these. Right. Yeah. So you were writing way back when you were like six years old. Is that right? No, nah, I'm not that old. But or singing, um, you were singing at six, writing sing, at 11. Yeah, I did the whole, my dad plays the organ at church. He still does. So I sang in the church mm-hmm. and, and the plays and stuff. And I was adorable. Wasn't good at singing until like 16. But uh-huh. um, I did it. I was loud. And um, yeah, then I started writing songs at like 11 and really started producing and writing at 13. Wow. And, and now I'm 20. And now you're 20. You're going to be 21. 21. December, yes! right? Yay! December 22nd. Oh, my gosh. You, you Googled me. Yeah. Any plans for the <laughs> big job. 22nd birthday? Or? Uh, I have a show, I think, in Tampa. And we're going to rage. You're going to rage? Yeah. Right I, I mean, I hope. They'd probably be like, nah, you have interviews. But I'll be like, shots or not. I don't know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, so you've been performing everywhere and, and stuff like that. How does it feel to have something happen so quickly and... And, and, you know, overnight, really, it's like all of a sudden, Megan Trainer's on the map, and this massive song is, is number one around the world. And, and then you're sitting here with me on Z1035 in Toronto, and you're, like, talking about it where maybe a couple years ago, you would never thought this would happen. Crazy. All that. All oh, that. I've, I've no idea where I am right now and what is life. I feel like I'm watching a movie. Mm-hmm. None of it has hit me at all yet. And I think if I do think about it, I'll start crying. I started thinking about... Like I read somewhere like a possible Grammy nominating thing and I was I was just on there. And then I went into, oh my God, what if I go to the Grammys? What if I did that? Who am I inviting? And I just started tearing up and they're like, Megan, I was like, oh yeah, I'm here. Where are we going? And like, I, I can't, I'll go into a whole world. 
insane. You're so talented. You play a ton of instruments, right? Ukulele, yeah. you play a keyboard, trumpet, you play the drums a little bit. Play bongos. I now, played that in the family band for sure. So and so that's where it all came from really back in when you were growing up. It was just around instruments and, and singing and stuff band. like that. Yeah. Right. My father was a musician and a band teacher, but he never wrote songs. So when he he got me all this equipment and the fact that I'm so into it, he'll sit behind me, like right behind me and watch me for hours. And I'll look back and he's like, he's just dead asleep. <laughs> and I'm like, dad, you can go to bed. He's like, no, no, more snare. We need more snare. So I'm like, okay. Right. So it's They're good. very supportive. Awesome. It was great growing up in a family with a music background because look where you are today, I guess. Right? Yeah, it worked. Um, so you're a great wa- role model. I mean, a lot of people around the radio station and, and were calling me today saying, you know, and I've never had this really anytime we've had artists in the studio. We're like, I want to be, I want to be there when Megan Trainer's in there. I want to, and it's all these people are, are part of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was the first time a lot of, especially women were like, I, I got to be there. I want to meet her and all that. So congratulations That's on awesome. that and being such a great role model. A lot of women uh, say you empower them a ton, obviously. And uh, what message would you give to young girls and women? Love yourself more. Mm-hmm. That's huge. I don't, I didn't love myself enough. And now, now I regret it. Every second that I was like, oh, it's, I suck or I'm ugly. I wish I'd, what, I didn't do that because I'm awesome. And yeah. I, I just hope little girls grow up thinking that too. More Smile at yourself. Smile. Be positive. I've never looked in the mirror and was like, oh, amazing until recently. And now it's, it's, it works. Yes. It's great. I think you look amazing. Uh, who do you look up to and uh, who's your role model or who was your role model growing up? Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce. <laughs> who run the world? Girls. Kills it. She's, <laughs> right. a, she's an alien. There's no way. She's real. She's so perfect. Um... Yeah, yeah, Beyonce. Anybody else? Uh, Aretha Franklin. Right. Was always amazing and always confident. And, um, awesome. I'm trying to think. Wow, no one's asked me that yet. No. They're always like, who's your fashion icon? And who's your, <laughs> who's your favorite singers? Yeah. What do you listen to? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you listen to other than yourself? Me? Uh, we always have Spotify going to it well, while we do hair and makeup for hours. But we do, uh, we start with T-Pain. Mm-hmm. If it's like a week of promo, we start with T-Pain. And then we go to like Ray Charles and then Earth, Wind & Fire. Right. It's always that cycle. And, and you, then um, uh, uh, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. And you listen to Soka growing up? Soka. Yeah, Soka that music. was the last one. Soka music. <laughs> I actually do a party on Thursday nights, which was last night, like a Soka party. And then I you was did? waiting that you'd like Soka music. I'm like, I should invite her out to Sugar Daddy's you last night. What am I thinking? That would have been awesome. You? I was sitting on my bed. A- any Soka songs that you like? Because we play Soka on the radio. Like, you, you do? Like- you know Masha Montano? Like- yeah, yeah, of course. Like we've played uh, Vibes Cartel and uh, some Sorani on the radio station before. Wow. And, yeah. Sorani was just here not too long ago, was singing to me. Uh uh-uh. uh. I might even have it. I can. Here, can I play that for you? Yeah. You know Sorani No Games, that song? No Games. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe you're thinking. No? I'm a big Marshall Montano fan. And okay, that's fine. Yes. And um, oh, here it is. Destro. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Oops. Here. It's, it's, it's the hammer. Just in case I never know. Oh, a hammer on the show. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, girl, I'm a love you, girl. Do you feel the same? I'm a not go play games. Sarani representing the hammer. So, yeah, all the Oh, soca- my God. That was all beautiful. The soca- Next time he comes in, I'll get him to do one for you. Please, I'll die. I'll, that was so amazing. He's great. And little John was here a couple weeks back, and he was actually doing a countdown with me. And after the countdown, I said, I'll pick any song you want, any song you want. What song do you like right now on the radio? And he actually picked your song. Stop it. He no. said it was so catchy. Yeah, I'm I not just lying. met him because I, I, I did I Heart, and I performed right before him. Right. And um, that was insane. And he's so nice and chill. Oh, like, yeah. I was so scared walking up to him. I was like, oh. I want a picture with my brothers, but I'm too scared to ask. And he was like, hey, yeah, I love a pic. That's great. He was so chill and nice. <laughs> as long as you don't he ask like, him to say. do your song. You know that? I was like, you do my song. Oh, it was yeah. like a version of my song. Oh, he'll do it. Yeah, over top of the song and everything. He'll get right into it. Wow. Yeah, so that was one of his favorite songs, which is good. Um, we have a couple ladies in the studio that want to ask a question. Is that okay? Yeah, ladies. All right. What's up? Go ahead. I just want to thank you for all the empowerment you've done through this song for young women. And uh, I just think it's amazing and so needed in this generation. And I just want to ask you if that's something that you want to continue. You want to be like a life message through your music and through your life that you want to uh, empower young women. Yes, you're adorable. I love you. <laughs> you just like made my day. Yes, absolutely. Um, I have a song, Close Your Eyes, on my EP. I don't know if you heard. It's like... Another self-acceptance song, but it's a more seri- serious level than all about the bass. But I got um, a bunch of songs on the album that are 
I like that. It's very important to me. Well, thank you so much. It's so needed and Thanks. is really being received. You got That's another awesome. question too. You might as well just go. You've wanted to ask like five. Go ahead. You asked that one already. Uh, all right. Hey, girl, Anything else or no? Well, okay. It's a little more specific. But what would you wish you knew when you were thirteen that um, you would tell younger girls today? How awesome I was. No, uh, uh, I just. I, uh, it was all mental. It wasn't like I was bullied for being a little bigger. It was all in my head, and my mom finally was like you know they probably don't think about you that much like you think and i wish i, I knew that but just just got to tell yourself you're beautiful and love love yourself more over and over again it helps helps me it's the truth thank you yeah thanks. pina you want to do or ask a question go ahead sure all What's right midday show here at megan yeah i've been looking forward to this first of all you are a breath of fresh air I think you are fantastic. Thank you. Um, and I noticed there were a few young girls uh, downstairs, and they were so excited. The cutest girls in the world. Yes. Yeah. Freaking out. So I just wanted to know, has there been any celeb that you have met that you were like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm meeting so-and-so? Uh, I've met a lot of celebs, but uh, Lil John was one of those. Um, yeah, definitely freaked out. Hilary Duff, I met her. Freaked out. I love her. And um, John Legend, I met him for a hot second. And he was so <laughs> a hot second. He was a legend, man. That's all you can explain it. He's so calm and he had a show, so he was dressed it was looking amazing. And he was like, Hey man, so great song. Cause we're doing a duet together. Oh. And he recorded it and he's like, Man, I love that song, man. Where'd you write that? I was like, Nashville, sir. <laughs> uh, he's just so chill, but yeah, he was awesome. Uh it's on the album. It's, it's I'm coming sure out. it's called Like I Wanna Lose You. It's gonna be you have a date for that? It's coming out before the end of the year, correct? Um, um, oh, you're hoping. I guess December, uh -huh. right? November? Ugh. Right. It's ready for me. I'm, they're putting the bows and ribbon on it. We'll say November 26th. There you That's go. Is that there good? it is. <laughs> but That's the EP the is out with uh, four songs. Yes. Uh, four songs that mean a lot to you. I think you picked your favorite four songs and put it on the EP. That yeah. Day. Right. I was like upset that they said EP. Because oh. I was like struggling. I was working real hard on this album. And they're like, we're going to put an EP, EP out. EP out. And mm -hmm. I was like, why? Uh, why? They're like, because they're saying you're a one-hit wonder. I was like, oh, and they're like, we got to prove that you're not. So just put four out there. And I was like, okay, well, here's these. I want to show these. And it's just a little, a tease, a little sneak peek of right. the rest of the album. Is title, is, is title on the EP? The song yeah. title? There's uh, All About the Bass, title, Dear Future Husband, and Close Your Eyes. And we're going to play title. But before we play title, I want to play you something. Okay. Can I do it? Yeah. Say push the button, Hammer. Push the button, Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know I'm all about Dazzy, about Dazzy, 1035. I'm all about Dazzy, about Dazzy, 1035. I'm all about Dazzy, about Dazzy, 1035. I'm all about Dazzy, about Dazzy, Z, 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 Z. Yeah, so use that. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. And look how fast we did that. That was pretty quick. That's amazing. So if you need anything done quickly, Azim over here is our producer, and he'd be you know willing to do anything for you. Yeah. Um, That's okay. why you hired him. Good job. Yes. Awesome guy. Uh, let's talk about title. Explain what the song's about. Uh, what is the title? The title is title, but why? Why is the EP <laughs> title title? Right. I thought it was funny. Ah, uh, is that what I thought why? it was like, oh, I'll just call it title. <laughs> all right, what would you call that EP? I, I, like, they had all these, like, my producer said, 808s and bad dates. And I was like, uh, there's not a lot of 808s 808 in it, though. But, but um, title, they were all, like, asking me, what's the title? And right. because I had that song, I was like, there it is. That's right. hilarious. Um, um, but um, title was the second song I ever wrote with this person, Kevin. Okay. And um, I, I just thought it was perfect for a second single because it's another thing I struggle with. The boys, man. I let them totally think, like, I thought I was dating this dude and we totally weren't. And I was just so bad about it in high school. So bad with the dudes. Um, and nowadays I'm like, okay, you have to take me on a date if you want to start talking to me and you got to... Treat me like a lady and be awesome and make me laugh. Yeah, is that me, what you look for in a guy? Make me sort of? giggle. I right. totally. I, I always say I want comedians, and they're like, No, you don't. <laughs> comedians are the <laughs> deep down inside are really sad and dark. And I was like, oh, Okay, but I want a guy who's funny for sure, but uh -huh. nice first. So like Canadian, nice, and then like. You, you got your fun. guy. Yeah, yeah. Got <laughs> but I'm married. <laughs> if I wasn't married, though, I'd be taking you to the sugar daddies. Thanks. <laughs> but, yeah, I should have done that. All right, let's play this song. Title. Megan yes, Trainer. Thank you for playing it. That's no awesome. problem. We play everything first here in Toronto. Yeah. Here we go. It's Megan Trainer title on Z1035. Yeah, Megan Trainer right there, title on Z1035 at 319. It's Hammer. And um, 
Megan Trainer, which is awesome. Um, thanks so much for coming by. I appreciate it. Yeah, Ton. thanks for having me. Uh, you seem like a real person. You're not trying to be anybody else but yourself, which is uh, the way every, everybody should be. And I wish you continued success and uh, a ton of success throughout your whole career. Okay. That's what I'm going for. I love you. Awesome. People want to connect with you on uh, social media. Can you just give that out quickly in case they're looking for you? I yeah. guess it's pretty simple if you At search it. Megan M E G H A N right. underscore Trainer, and it's like Train O R. Right. Awesome. And if you're in the Toronto area again, make sure you stop by and say hello. Yeah. Megan Trainer, everybody. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks so much. Awesome.